everyone, this Unicorn Blaster is pretty outstanding in itself, but they are not all born equal, so let's make this one a bit better. I'm the old nerve guy, welcome to Tag. As I was saying, they are not all born equal. Some of them have a pointed plunger tube, some of them have a full plunger tube. Not to mention the one that come with or without stock and probably other differences like the spring tension and other factor. Since I got one of those ported low power version, let's make it a bit better. Uh, thank you to BioBlaster who sent me the full tube to go into this thing plus the 14 kilogram spring so we're gonna run a chrono test on my unicorn as it is right now with the very short zen wiki barrel on it we're gonna put the tube in run a chrono test then i'm gonna swap the spring and run another chrono test to see how it improved this thing i reckon my barrel is one centimeter shorter than the original one i am not gonna increase the barrel length for now but i might do it in the future but for now, it's my compact blaster that I want to put more reliable with the full tube which will preserve my o-ring and maybe a better spring or just use the one I have inside. Let's go on the table. As I was saying, I was sent this uh, apparently 14 kilogram spring for the unicorn and the unported brass tube. Normally those uh, Starco brass tube are pretty outstanding, they are very polished inside. Ah, this one seems a little dirty. We're going to clean it, install it in, see the result on the chronograph with only the tube in. And then we're going to swap for the spring to see if there is any upgrade on this blaster. Okay, so baseline chrono test, I'm going to shoot 6 or 7 uh, ghost dart as always in it and we're gonna see what it gives okay so that's my base guideline for this blaster it's gonna be Low 144, high 156, average 150.5. Pretty regular, pretty good. Let's see after the tube. So for now, let's take the front of the blaster apart so we can take out the tube that is inside and replace it with this one. kind of easy to see where the lack of performance comes from into this blaster. I mean, 50% of the tube is ported. And uh, that O-ring, I got a lot of black residue on my plunger, meaning they might come from my O-ring. Yeah, there is feathering on my O-ring, meaning it is scratching too much on this thing. So first, let's remove the priming handle. And then those two screw underneath here for the little rail. Be very careful of your little metal piece inside which got the thread for the front for the priming Picatinny in it. If you lose it or install it the wrong way, you will have problem. Normally, you just remove the front. That's the little piece I was talking to you about. And you can just move it forward. Then you can remove the plunger tube little pack of lubricant and our solid brass tube All right, it's pretty much exactly the same size 
and I'm happy about it. Maybe a tad longer. It's gonna fit. Yeah. It's fitting pretty neatly in fact. Oh, and it's heavy. Compared to this thing that feels like a paper almost. This is very this is a very weak tube with a weird finish. This one, this one is gonna be great. As I said earlier, let me clean the interior because it is not very much clean. It's pretty much dirty. I'm going to clean it, lube it, put it in, do the reverse process of putting back the screw all together inside of this blaster. And we're going to be ready for the first chrono test. Little thing to consider on this thing. I had to update the plunger o-ring on this thing because it was too loose and was not sealing it was just dropping at the bottom now it's holding and I changed the one from the pusher just to make sure it was at least sealing a bit and I lubed everything with the included lubricant and two drop of silicon oil now let me just slap that thing inside And it's sealing way better than it was. Now, let's go on the chronograph with only the tube in. Okay, now that we changed the tube, one thing I have to say, this thing is even more heavy with the machine brass tube. Let's fire a few, see if there is any improvement. What? That thing is sealing. Why is it shooting less? Maybe it's vacuuming. That's why I should have a little problem. If this thing is vacuuming... It's still going lower. I think I don't have enough barrel on this thing to exploit the new plunger. It was really tuned for this barrel. Hmm, interesting, I got 10 less FPS with the new tube, pretty interesting, let's go check with the spring swap now, okay, just swap the spring, this thing is quite harder to prime, Okay, that is an obvious improvement with this uh, 14 kilogram spring. A little harder to prime, honestly. Uh, you would really need to brace yourself with the stock because this thing is not meant for the top prime. But it's pretty interesting. The average is 171. That my maximum shot was 178 with a short barrel. I am telling you, with this tube inside, I am going to need to tune this barrel. This is way, way too short for this blaster. Okay, this unicorn. Uh, the tube itself didn't really improve on the performance. But that thing is sealing so much that it is vacuuming a bit now. So maybe I'm going to have to put a little notch in my pusher. To prevent that thing that's why there was a port on the other tube if there was only a small small hole at the end of the tube just before the plunger it would have been maybe a bit better for this thing but with the 14 kilogram spring i am fetching 170 fps average on this thing with some uh, 175 170, 
178 shot on this thing this is pretty neat if I can correct the vacuuming on this thing I will improve it plus I will have to tune my barrel I will find myself myself uh, I don't know a swim barrel 25 centimeter just to put a little more on top of it I'm sure it will help the performance a lot but this thing is very fun that plunger tube had a little weight to it but uh, for now it's color matching with my barrel and the performance are there plus with that new tube that thing is sealing like a charm that's why it's vacuuming a bit on the dart when loading other than that it is almost perfect thank you bio blaster for those parts those were amazing if you have a ported version of this blaster i will suggest you this 14 kilogram spring a little stiffer on the front but it's good and the tube itself the tube will require you to find a slightly larger o-ring for your pusher and your plunger but it will be amazing you will have a high powered version of the unicorn yeah i think that's it for this small video in the meantime you can always follow me on facebook and instagram at the old nerve guy please leave a like and comment subscribe for more content don't forget to hit that bell to notify for my latest video this was dave for tag thank you for watching see you next time bye